go. All right. Um, hello, I am Hector Martin, a.k.a. Marken, and uh, this is a project that I've been working on. It's called OpenLays. It's an open real-time uh, laser graphics framework. Uh, but before I talk about OpenLays, let me talk a little bit about how lasers work. There's a laser back there. It's DIY. And the way it works is there's a laser that turns on and off. And it projects a beam into two mirrors that are connected to two very fast motors called galvanometers. Uh, those motors basically move the beam uh, up and down, left and right, onto the screen. What on earth? Okay. To paint a picture on the screen. Uh, and so that's how lasers work. And uh, these motors move really, really fast. They, they move at about audio frequency, so kind of like a loudspeaker. So it makes sense to drive them using audio equipment. So we use a simple USB sound card to do that. And since we're using audio hardware, it makes sense to use audio software. So I built OpenLays around the excellent Jack Audio Connection Toolkit which is a real-time uh, Unix sound server uh, for Linux and Unix. And uh, so, okay, uh, OpenLays is basically built on top of Jack, and there are two main parts. There's an output processor, which has a little GUI that looks like that, and you can tweak all the laser settings and all that stuff. And uh, then there's a library that you can use to draw graphics on the screen in vector format. Uh, it's kind of like OpenGL, and it's called LibOL. So you can use this to render lines and do 3D and 2D graphics, as you just saw. And you can basically, well, Right, any kind of interactive laser application with it. So since it's all real time, it makes sense to, of course, do video games. That's one of the main reasons. So, um, but of course, we can do 3D graphics. And uh, we can do games. <laughs> and OK, so games work really well. But since it's real time and it's using audio, it's actually synced to an audio channel. And uh, so I was doing some demos and some other things. It's a real-time audio visualization. I'm sure you recognize the music. So uh, I also did a little demo, and um, I decided to try doing a tracer, because an effect like this can only really be computed in a, a bitmap format. So there's a tracer that finds the lines of the effect and converts it into laser. And then I thought, well, what happens if I apply this to a video stream, an actual video? So I found this shadow art video on YouTube that uh, works really great with the algorithm. It works way too well with this. And uh, that's what this looks like. It's real time from a video file to laser to the projector. So uh, that's about it. Um, the code is open source. Uh, you can grab it at my website at uh, markinsoft.com slash openlays. I don't have plans for building the projector yet, but it's, uh, you can do it DIY. It's not very hard if you know a little bit about electronics. One it costs minute. about 200 euros. So that's about it. Thank you very much.